I'm excited to take you to look at something really cool from Google. Gemini Canvas. Hey guys, my name is Watt and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're going to talk about new cool things from Google. Gemini Canvas. It is a new fantastic cool features in Gemini that makes writing and coding much easier than ever before. If you are interested, then watch this video till the end. Let's go. I recently got a chance to try out Gemini Canvas. It's an, a new interactive space from Google. And I think it's quite interesting. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access it and how you can use it. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Gemini Canvas is a workspace where you can start with a blank page and build your ideas into full projects. It is similar to ChatGPT Canvas. Almost all the functionalities are the same at least for writing, but Gemini Canvas also could create for you a web app similar to Claude. And the best part is that you can edit the code, you can edit the content, everything inside the Canvas. So whether you're writing an essay or drafting blog post or even coding a small simple project, Canvas is a really, really great start. Let me show you it in action. The Canvas feature is available on gemini.google.com website. Simply open the website and then in the prompt section you will see this icon Canvas. By clicking on it, you will activate the Canvas. One of the best things about Canvas is how it helps with writing. Basically, if you don't know how to start, you can write the simple prompt and AI will give you some ideas. And then later on, you could adjust your tone, length, and text, or even ask AI to rewrite everything from scratch. Let me demonstrate for you a simple example. I will ask uh, AI to give me 20 ideas what uh, to eat in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is a city in Thailand. And here we go. This is the result. And as you could see, at the right hand side, we have the canvas. And the text inside with the top things uh, that I could try in Chiang Mai. And as you could see, the canvas is editable. So basically, you can remove some text, you can make it bold, you can change the style, you can change the format, or even delete some pictures that AI suggested. At the right hand side, you will see the additional menu. It is a quick menu that can help you to change the length of the article. For instance, you can make it super long or super short. Uh, let me try to make it longer. And as you could see, now the article is longer. You also can ask AI about suggestion. For example, you can select some part of the article and ask AI to suggest you some improvement. And after a few seconds, you will see the suggestions from AI. If you're happy with it, you can just apply it. And then AI will rewrite everything with the suggestions. It is a super cool, right? The another item in the menu allows you to change the tone of the article. For instance, you can make it very casual or, or more formal. And after a few seconds, you will get completely different result. The another wonderful part of this canvas, you can go to the previous versions with these arrows. So if you're not happy with the result, you always can go back to the previous version. And you also can export the result to Google Docs with one click. If you want to share this canvas with your co colleagues, for example, you can copy the link and share these links with your colleague and they will be able to see the canvas without even logging to the Google account. As you could see, this is my canvas and it's accessible through the link. I think this feature is really powerful for collaboration. The most wonderful part in canvas that you can ask directly inside this chat, Gemini to create for you a landing page about this content. And after a few seconds, you will get the code for your landing page. And again, the best part is that you can preview the code. As you can see, this is my landing page. And you also can modify the code directly inside the canvas and then preview the results. For instance, as you could see, my images don't work. So I can go inside the code and modify it with the correct uh, links to the images. Let me show you one example. 
As you could see, I changed the path to the image and now it showed up. As with the document, you can share this canvas with your colleague. There are also a few buttons that uh, don't work right now. For example, this console is uh, empty. I'm not sure maybe there will be something useful in the future. So as you could see, it's so easy right now to generate a simple HTML code with the live preview and share it with your colleague. You almost don't need to have any development experience to create something really interactive and fun. I think it's really important for beginners who want to learn something new. And one of the most wonderful part is that uh, this tool is completely free. So you can give it a shot, try and see what you can build with it. And that's it. As you can see, it's really, really easy to use. It's simple and it's really powerful. Give it a shot and share with me your feedback and comments below. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Please click like. Please click like. Please click like and share with me your feedback and comments below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm hoping to see you in my next videos. Bye.